Hello my lovely Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I'm the garden woman for those who are first timers. Hello. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm about to dive into my miniature prayer so I can do this reading for y'all. Happy Friday. Okay. All praises be to my divine energies. I am receptive to the energy that you may lend me for the Scorpio so I can bring them confirmation and clarification. I'm open. All of my angelic guides and my intuitive guides are welcome into this entire room and this entire reading. All right, let's dive in. I share. Okay. Page of Wands, my Scorpios. It's the first card. Hmm. Mysteriously getting to know yourself. You never knew how intricate you really were until now. That's nice. All right now, my Scorpios. Next, I have the Five of Swords. Never back down from a fight if you're fighting for what you love. Always fight for what you love. My Scorpios. Always fight for what you love. Moving along, I have the Emperor card. Masculine energy. Tap into this energy. Whether you're female or you're a male, tap into your masculine energy. You will need to be in your masculine energy for the next few weeks. And few is three. So the next three weeks, you will need possibly four. The next three weeks, possibly four weeks, you will need to be in your masculine energy on the daily. You need to become more stern and firm and no means no. Yes means yes. I said what I said. I'm not doing it. You didn't have to say what attitude. No. Yes. You know, just. You know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So next I have the five of cups. Never ending trauma comes along when you do not center yourself. You need to center yourself. Meditate on what and who is truly for you and who is not and what is not. Begin paying attention to the blessings that you already obtain because you will not get blessed with more until you use what has been given to you already my Scorpios and also some of y'all need to cut loose of some friendships some friendships need to be cut loose next I have the Hierophant card in reverse never ending pain when lies are told be more honest with yourself so that honesty can be brought your way. Observe more because you may not always get this honesty in verbal communication. Observe one's actions, the way they move, how they speak and the words that they use when they talk. Because you can catch some honesty in a whole lie. Okay? <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right, now... <laughs> I have next nine of wands. Moving through the trenches, you find gold. You find gold. 
the trenches, y'all. Moving through the trenches, you find gold. I heard an alley. Somebody found some gold in an alley, and it was a clean alley. Well, some of you, okay. So some of y'all moving through some trenches, finding gold, twigs. Some of y'all were going through some twigs, and you found gold. Guard this. Do not show it to too many people. It is real. What will you do with this? Uh-oh, y'all finding gold. Okay. <laughs> you rich. Let <laughs> me stop. All right, so. Next, I have the three of wands. society but don't let that get to you calm yourself in the midst of chaos calm your mind okay calm yourself in the midst of chaos calm your mind bring peace to your soul do not let this burning society interrupt your flow And then next, Scorpios, I have the Fool card. Knowing that life has many journeys for us when we continue to move on. Be receptive to this and you shall be blessed. Receive the blessings. Get blessed. Move on. From pain, from strife, from misery. Okay, my loves. Next, at the bottom of the deck, I have Queen of Cups. Let the soil penetrate your feet. Grounding, earthing, walking outside with no shoes, no socks, and grass. Okay, grounding yourself with Mother Earth is going to bring you closer to the universe. Speak affirmations when you do this, okay? Take a piece of paper out there with you unless you memorize them or if you're just deep breathing and grounding, earthing, and just letting it all flow out. Try to connect with your, your ancestors, your intuition. Okay, y'all, so on the top of the deck, I have the sun card. Knowing yourself on sunny days helps you get through the rainy days. Always know thyself through any day. All right, my lovely Scorpios, let me push these to the side. And we shall move on to my Moonology cards. So, I am going to be doing a Moonology reading for you. So, whichever cards or card falls out of the deck, I will go into my book. Search the card up and give you the full definition and teaching of it. All right. They flipped over. Okay. Three cards. Scorpio, three cards. So, my intuition wants me to do the middle card first. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Beautiful, beautiful colors. So, let's see. All 
Hold on now. First time pulling this card, getting this card. Okay. Okay, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Full moon eclipse. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking is about to reach a peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. A way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So, allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time as hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. Attune to the moon. That which is meant for me will not pass by me. I like that. Additional meanings for this card. Doors which slam shut now will reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation. Praninama. <laughs> Pranayama. And yoga. Nidra. Are all recommended now. Seed control and let events unfold. The teaching. Full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. Oh, wow. A full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because its portents change. Something many of us are uncomfortable with. But change is a part of life and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of that fact. Full moon eclipse can also give us a glimpse into what Carl Jung called the shadow self. Work with your darkness. So true. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon. All right, y'all. So, next, full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let your pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. All right. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent. But when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed more love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all your relationships. Attune to the moon. Be magnificent without being plain too much. Additional meanings for this card. Self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Work some magic. A friendship may be ending now. The teaching. When the full moon comes into it in Leo, it can be a wonderfully bright time where people feel more confident to show the world their talents and assets. That's the upside of the lunatation of this card, no matter when you pull it. However, take note that Leo full moon combination creates a sort of tension in between your needs and the needs of people in your networks. Leo full moon is a time to release your pride. All right, my lovely Scorpios. Next, I have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Dang, did y'all get... Y'all got three full moons. Wow. Wow. Okay, now. 
This is all spirits work now. Full moon in Pisces. Thank you, my divine. So. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a, con a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditating your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Attune with the moon. Meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. Answers will come. Okay, y'all? Answers will come. Um, they will and they do additional meetings for this car you are in a super romantic but not super realistic state follow your intuition it won't let you down at worst this car can herald the end of a dream the person you are inquiring about is a soulmate avoid substance abuse the teaching pisces is the last sign of the zodiac so the full moon in pisces symbolically marks endings when the moon is full in Pisces or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is, is at odds with the numinous Piscean energies that have no borders. So fear your way now. Psych ability, psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces. And, so might, and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe. Releasing your fears. Yay. All right, my lovely Scorpios. I appreciate the energy that y'all have let me borrow to do your tarot and moonology readings. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So if you know anyone who may be going through any of the things that I spoke upon or need some spiritual guidance, definitely share this channel. Share this video. Okay. Share the light. Share the love like comment subscribe share okay my lovely scorpios and i will be back next friday to do your readings